You don't come to a high school wrestling match looking for compassion. Hey, get to this side. Even when the Wells wrestling coaches are yelling for a move and the teenagers are fighting for a pin, you'll see heart. It's in the wrestling and it's on their shirts. It says my pal Spencer and it has Spencer's face yeah. on the front. Ready? Here we go. Oh, good catch. Spencer Smith isn't old enough to wrestle. He's just two and a half after all. Come on. He does enjoy playing ball, jumping on his trampoline, and building blocks. Is that your favorite song? But how did this active toddler in Lexington, Massachusetts, end up on the shirts of the Wells wrestling team? He began to think that he couldn't hear so well. It's because of his diagnosis with a rare disease known as San Filippo syndrome. Specifically, it attacks the brain. Yeah. So this disease is also known as like a children's Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. So far, Spencer has experienced hearing loss. His parents, Nate and Allie, know there's more to come. Oh, good catch. Yeah. San Filippo takes kids' memories, their ability to walk and talk. Worst of all, the incurable disease has a life expectancy of 15 years. Eventually have trouble eating. They may experience seizures. And, uh, you know, ultimately, sometime in the teenage years, the, these kids typically pass away. Nate's son will most likely never have the high school experiences he did. Building a car. Drive a car, dance at prom, or wrestle. Nate spent all four years of high school wrestling for Wells. And there are certain things you can do here. When his old coach, Scott Luia, heard about Spencer's diagnosis. And I didn't know anything about it till then. It hit hard. I, uh. Because this coach thinks of his wrestlers as family. <laughs> Their kids included. Yeah, kind of got choked up. Scott shared Spencer's story with the team, and it didn't take long for them to decide to help. Gonna like bump his hips to keep his hips over his head. The boys went out into their communities to get pledges of donations for every win they fight for this season. Senior Ryan Norton gets ten dollars and fifteen cents for his wins, money that will go towards the Cure San Filippo Foundation to help kids like Spencer. Wrestling is a really rewarding sport, and when you know that you have something behind it, like raising money, it just makes it like that much more powerful. The team's goal started at $2,500, and they've already surpassed that, coming back from a Class B state championship year. Ryan won both his matches against Deering and Portland High School in the 113 weight class. Yeah, that's $20 in one day raised for Spencer, so that's awesome. <laughs> What are you doing? Spencer isn't old enough to understand his disease or what it means for a group of high schoolers helping to find a cure. Can you make a car? His parents are well aware of how special it is and have gotten the chance to say thank you in person. You know, it's just amazing that they're using uh, Spencer and his diagnosis uh, as motivation for the team. All right, it's best to, to go to your forehead. These wrestlers now know more than ever that the team they joined will always be there to help. And push, yeah, there you go. Even after they leave the mat. Doesn't matter when you graduate, we're gonna have you back. What? Whoa. Oh, you roll it? Yeah, mommy.